Hello, my name is Erica. Welcome to my channel. Um, this week we are going to talk about my history of blankets instead of doing a typical podcast episode. So I'm just going to do sort of a quick overview of all of the blankets that I've made. Um, they are all crochet blankets. They are all extremely beginner friendly patterns. Um, and they are all free patterns and many of them come with amazing tutorials. So I just um, hope that this video inspires you a little bit, especially if you are someone who maybe knits but has never tried crochet. I think that crochet still holds my heart when it comes to blanket making in particular. So let's dive in. I've got quite a bit to show you. So. My very first, I would say, like major crochet project ever was a crochet blanket. And it was this crochet blanket. I'll try to take um, pictures and insert them of me holding them all spread out, but this is just all acrylic. Actually, that is something to note. Every one of these blankets is 100% acrylic, but they're all such forgiving patterns. Like, make it with whatever you want, you know? That's the beauty of it. Anyway, this is just a simple corner to corner. Um, so you'll see it kind of has the stripes going from the corner, getting bigger, 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 and then on the other side they get smaller, smaller, smaller till they meet at a rectangle. Um, it's just with these, yep, blue, green, brown. This is the blanket that I picked up in college and I was like, I'm gonna make something. Picked it up freshman year, put it down, didn't pick it up again till senior year of college, and then I just dove head first. So this blanket was made with a crochet corner to corner tutorial um, by the crochet crowd, Mikey of the crochet crowd, and I will link that pattern below or that tutorial. I then went on a bit of a spree making this type of blanket. So the next blanket I made, I was like, I'm gonna do the same thing. I ordered yarn online and this is what I got. This was not exactly the color palette I was going for. These are all very like baby colors, this pink, purple, blue. What I thought I was getting was like a more sophisticated, like a dusty <laughs> color palette, but you know, what's the harm? It's a blanket, it keeps you warm. So I made another one, the exact same pattern, just that sort of granny stripe, if you will, but corner to corner. Um, and then I made Another one for my mom, I just, over a span of like visiting her <laughs> over a couple years, I worked on one of these in maroon, navy blue, and like a gold color. Um, she still uses it, it lives on her sofa. And I made another one for my sister and her husband. That one, instead of doing like even colored stripes, like I have here, I did, um, they varied. What is the word for that? Well, I can't think of it right now. But yeah, I'd had like some thick stripes for some colors, thin stripes for other colors, and that one was like, it had some cream, it had some light gray, dark gray, and then sort of like a mottled gray color as well. Um, that one I did think turned out really nice. But then after that, I was like, you know what? I'm ready to try something new. I wanna do a fancier pattern. So I picked up my first ever granny squared blanket, and let me, Oof, grab that. And I love this blanket. To this day, this is one of my favorite blankets. I always love to have it displayed. Um, and this is a flower granny square pattern. It's got a nice black border. It's got different colors of the flowers throughout. It's blowing out a little bit. I'm sorry about that. It's kind of a gray day here. Um, this is called the City Solarium Throw. And yeah, this was my first time sort of piecing any, any crochet or anything together. And I think I did an all right job with the seaming, if you can tell. Um, I didn't block these squares. That definitely would have made the blanket turn out nicer. It's kind of a little like, wah, wah, little, little wonky, little wiggly. Um, but yes, this is the City Solarium Throw. And I believe it is a Bernat or no, it's a yarn inspirations pattern, but again, Mikey from the Crochet Crowd has tutorial for this that I will link below. Um, that is, 
I mean, yeah, it walked a beginner through how to do all of these things. So I think, I think it's really wonderful and I really love this blanket. I would highly, highly recommend it. So then after that, I did my first foray <laughs> into Tunisian crochet. So Tunisian crochet is beautiful. Um, this blanket was made. This is one of the only ones where I actually know the yarn. Most of them I'm just like, oh, it's some, some acrylic. But this one was um, Karen Simply Soft. It's this beautiful navy and this like gray blue and then this teal and I just love it. So this was made, it's made from the center out um, and it's these little Tunisian crochet squares. So it's a Tunisian entrelac blanket and the great thing about this as a first Tunisian crochet project is that you don't need special equipment. You do not need the long um, Tunisian crochet hooks to do Tunisian entrelac because you never have more than like, I don't know, six stitches on your hook and those fit on the short hooks. So yeah, this was an extremely meditative project and yeah, I love it. I really do, it's really soft, it's really like dense. Um, like it doesn't feel like, I mean air could get through of course, but it doesn't feel or it doesn't like look like it. You know, some crochet blankets have sort of a lot of holes, but this one is really, really solid. So yeah, this is my Tunisian entrelac blanket. This is another tutorial um, from the crochet crowd. If you haven't been able to tell yet from this video, when I started making blankets, the crochet crowd and your, your inspirations were like my only resource. <laughs> I hadn't branched out very far. Um, so that is, a, that is a theme for the day. So after this one, oof, I went on to make a um, Bavarian square blanket. And I think this one turns out really nice also. After, after the other blanket, I was like, you know what? Blues and cool colors are definitely my favorites, but I kind of want to branch out. So I got a blanket, still had blue, had gray, but you know what? I tossed in a yellow <laughs> or a gold, if you will, kind of a, yeah, a golden yellow. So this is another blanket that's worked from the center out. Um, and I'll, I'll get a picture of it held up but you can kind of see the center here and then it goes out and it's got this really nice texture. Um, I love how like the, when you go into the next color, it creates that ridge. It's kind of sort of like diamondy ridge. So yeah, Bavarian squares. And on the edge, you've got this nice little border of just the round, um, the round part of the Bavarian square. So yeah, this was, this was when I was sort of starting, well, maybe not starting to wind down a little bit from blankets, but maybe a little bit. Because I'd been on quite a spree. <laughs> so then after that, I made this blanket. And this one, I'm not sure how much you're gonna be able to tell, but it was kind of like, it looks like it's just striped when I'm holding it up like that. But it is, it's these blocks of color. So it goes like one block into the next block and then the next block into the next block. Um, you'll see it better when I hold it all the way up. But this blanket I actually made for Ben. He went to the store with me, picked out all the colors he wanted. Um, this is just, it's, you know, just regular kind of like granny stripes, except that you just do along one side back and forth, change colors to go along the next side back and forth, next side back and forth, sort of going around in like a, a spiral around the square if that makes sense. Um, it's the first pattern that I ever read. Did not have a tutorial that I could find and I was really nervous. I was like, I don't know how to read patterns. I can't do this. And then I tried it and it was fine and I could do it. So if you're in that boat, like you can totally do it. You can read the patterns, you can look up the abbreviations and you can totally learn it. But yeah, this, this blanket, is huge, first of all. I'll try to hold it up, but um, yeah, it's, it, it didn't take very, <laughs> excuse me. 
excuse me oh my gosh allergies probably from waving all these blankets around stirring up dust but um oh I, I could not find the pattern for this I looked and looked and looked and I just I just couldn't find it so I'm so sorry but um if you are interested in how this was done I could probably I could probably send you like some some quick info I could probably just look at it and figure it out but it's basically granny squares back and forth along one side then the next side then the next side um or not granny squares you know what I mean like, like a granny stripe um so after this I made a really beautiful chevron blanket for my friend I have gifted it so I don't have it here and I was looking and I don't seem to have a photo of the finished object but I'll insert a photo of like the very beginning of it that I have it's not the best photo but <laughs> um and that was yeah really nice it was just with some I think it was one of the Karen cakes so it was like self-striping yarn and yeah I think it turned out really nice so then my last blanket or I guess my most recent blanket and my pride and joy is, here, let me put this one away. It's this one. This, this beauty is the Tunisian, oh, look at a Christmas tree, Tunisian Holiday Sampler by TL Yarncraft. So that's Tony Lipsy. And she is the queen of Tunisian crochet. And this sampler blanket was like the most fun thing ever because you make these big I think they're like 12 by 12 12 by 12 inch squares and each one is a different um, Tunisian crochet stitch or technique and oh my gosh it was just so satisfying and so fun and it just came together so beautifully and then it's got this lovely border and it's just so cozy to have wrapped up on your lap um, each one of the squares comes with its own video tutorial so this is just an amazing free pattern by teal yarn crafts I cannot recommend it enough it just turns out looking just so amazing so those are all the blankets I have um, I know I was talking a little fast but this is just a quick episode, quick little show and tell. So I hope you get a little inspiration from it. I hope you enjoy. And I hope as we go into the colder season, you guys consider making whatever makes you feel cozy and happy. If that's sweaters, if that's blankets. And yeah, I hope we all start to enjoy the cozy season. So until next time, enjoy whatever you're working on and I will see you soon. Bye.